What's going on guys? It's Matt with No BS Beard Reviews. We've got another special review tonight. So I previously talked about upgrading your belt style. I've talked about upgrading your wallet. And now I want to talk to you about upgrading what I feel is probably one of the most important man accessories a man can own. And that's his wristwatch. So tonight I want to talk to you about an awesome company I recently discovered called Trasca Watches. Trasca, in my opinion, offers probably the greatest ROI return on investment for what you pay for what you get. So let's go ahead and jump into a tabletop review and I'll go over all the different specs of the Trasca Freediver. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into our tabletop review of the Trasca Freediver. Uh, before we do that, just a few quick dimensions on this watch here. This watch is 40 millimeters wide here, excluding that crown. So 40 millimeters wide, talking about the height here, it is 48 millimeters from lug to lug. That is an absolutely excellent size watch. That's gonna fit almost any wrist, not a problem at all. And then if we take a look at our height here, it is 12 and a half millimeters high. Additional specs, it does contain an automatic Japanese movement. It's got an NH38 movement that's actually made by Seiko. That is an awesome, awesome workhorse of a movement. We've also got 316 stainless steel case. It's got polished chamfers here, which you can see here, the edges are polished. And then the rest of the watch there is brushed. It also does have drilled lugs. So that's gonna make it very easy to take this strap off to change it if you wanted to. If you want to throw maybe a NATO strap on there or there, something else, it's gonna work beautifully there. It does have double domed sapphire crystal with AR coating underneath that. That's gonna make this watch very, very easy to read in bright lights. You can see it here under some lights I've got set up. But being outside with this watch on makes it you know very easy to read in the bright sun. Now the bracelet, Again, is that 316 stainless steel. It does have solid end links. It does have screw in links there, which makes it very, very easy to adjust the band here. You've also got a beautiful buckle here with micro adjustments as well. It's got a 120 click unidirectional rotating bezel here. That's also got sapphire glass on that bezel. You can also get it with a stainless insert as well. I'll take a, show you a few examples of those towards the end of this. The watch I do have here, I wanted to go with a very classic all black. Now it's got loom on this, so when you go in a dark room, all of this is going to light up. And it's got BGW9 loom. It is waterproof up to 300 feet. To me, <laughs> if I'm in more than 300 feet of water, I'm in trouble. So it is waterproof up to 300 feet. It does also have a proprietary scratch resistant coating throughout the watch. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. And then again, it's got individual serial numbers on each of these cases on the back. Each case is individually numbered. And so in talking about that case, again, as I mentioned, it is created with that 316th surgical grade stainless steel. It does also have that proprietary hard coating on it. I'll actually link to another watch reviewer's video after this. He actually takes a tool to this and tries to scratch it up and actually is not able to. So beautiful, beautiful watch here. That scratch resistant coating for somebody like me who wears this watch on a daily basis. Um, let me actually get a few fingerprints off of that. Um, but for somebody that's going to wear this watch on a daily basis, that additional scratch proofing on there. It's just amazing. That's an awesome, awesome value to have. And so, as I mentioned in my intro, the in my mind, this has an awesome, awesome return on investment. So this watch only goes for $400. With the different specs that I'm gonna go through and mention here, that is an absolute steal for what you're getting here. And so, as I mentioned, we do have that coating that is on the case here. It's also on the bracelet. Now, traditional stainless steel is about 160 HV on the Vickers hardness scale. When you add this coating on, and again, it's not thick at all. It feels just like a normal, a normal watch. Um, that takes that 
uh, coating the hardness scale up to 1500 HV. That's nearly 10 times harder than traditional stainless steel. So that's gonna cut down on all those nicks and scratches you would traditionally get on a metal bracelet or stainless steel watch. So when we take a look at the dial here, it does have a flat black dial. It's got these applied indices um, that are actually hand applied stainless steel indices. These things are absolutely beautiful. Again, filled with that loom in there, the white all glows, but this is an absolutely beautiful watch. This thing just really absolutely pops outside as well. You can see that awesome, I love that Trasca logo. It's just very clean, very basic, you know, nothing overboard. It's just a beautiful, beautiful logo. So we talked about our dial there. Let's also talk about um, the bezel of the watch. Now, as I mentioned, it does have a unidirectional coin edge bezel. And so for you that don't know what a coin bezel is, a coin edge bezel is, look at that thing. That thing looks like a silver dollar. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. When I was looking for a new watch, this was one of my must haves was that coin edge bezel. As a, I'll show you when I put this watch on here in a middle minute, that thing just really pops. And so the bezel there, it does have the sapphire crystal bezel insert. That really, really just, that's a, an excellent value and an excellent addition. Um, that bezel is scratch proof. So you're never gonna get scratched up. Traditional dive watches, a lot of them have aluminum bezels. And that aluminum, you know, you've wear it a month or two, that aluminum starts to get scratched up, it starts to get nicked. That's why with this sapphire crystal bezel, I mean, that is just an exceptional value, especially for what you're paying. Uh, it really does have unparalleled hardness. Very easy to rotate as well. As I mentioned, it's 120 clicks. And so very easy to get around there. You know, the bezel really functions as a minute timer. You just rotate it counterclockwise until the circular marker is aligned with the minute hand. And then as that minute hand advances, the circular marker remains in the same position. That's gonna give you a quick glance, you know, reveals how many minutes have elapsed since the starting of the timer. So great handy function to have on the watch. So let's talk about the actual crystal itself. So the free diver here sports a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating, as I mentioned. That sapphire crystal, like I've had another watch for almost 15 years now with a sapphire crystal, um, does not have one scratch on it after 15 years. And so a lot of watches traditionally will get scratched up, nicks here and there, but not the Trasca Freediver. With that sapphire crystal, that's gonna remain scratch-free for the life of the watch. Again, it's also got anti-reflective coating on the inside of the crystal, which really minimizes the glare, you know, when you're looking at this in direct sunlight. You know, this watch was really created to be a do-it-all watch. So you can wear this watch from, you know, out in the ocean, surfing, doing whatever outside, all the way to like a black tie ball or something like that. This thing pairs really well with a suit as well. It looks very, very nice. So we talked about our crystal, I'll give you an up close view of the hands there. The hands are absolutely beautiful. Uh, the hands are actually diamond cut, milled from a solid block of stainless steel. They are meticulously polished. I'm not doing this watch enough justice here with this light, unfortunately. It is just an absolute beautiful, beautiful watch. Those hands really pop and stand out. You can see a little bit when I move it around. Just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful creation here. And so as I mentioned, the bezel has that coin edge on it. The crown here also has that coin edge, you'll notice there. You can also see that crown is signed with that really cool Trasca logo. You can get a good glimpse here of how easy it is to take that band off as well. So in talking about the bracelet, again, as I mentioned, it's forged in that same 316 stainless steel, tapers from 20 millimeters here down to 18 at the buckle. And take a look at that buckle. It's got that awesome Trasca logo with the Trasca name. Very easy to pop that off. And once I do that, look at that detail, that prolonge 
right inside the buckle there. You can also get a glimpse of the back of the watch. You can see our free diver there. Just an absolutely beautiful clasp there. Beautiful bracelet. Very sturdy as well. Listen to this. You know, no expenses were spared when they created this Trasca free diver. Now, as I mentioned, it does have an automatic movement. The beauty of that is you're never gonna have to take this watch in every year or two to get a new battery put in it. Without automatic movement, this watch will constantly run by the movement of your body. And so this has an NH38A, uh, which oscillates at 21,600 beats per hour. And really this thing is gonna keep on going and go. It's like the Energizer Bunny. It keeps going and going and going. It's just an awesome movement. It never has to be serviced, which is a great thing. You don't ever have to take this to your jeweler to get serviced or cleaned or anything like that. Um, it is 24 joules. It does have a two-step hand windable movement. It also has the ability to hack, which means you can stop it completely. Um, this is the NH38. It's actually a dateless variant of Seiko's NH35A movement. And so you're getting a quality, quality movement there. So what else? I actually had the opportunity to hop on a call with John, the owner of Trasca Watches. Um, the great beauty of Trasca Watches is quality doesn't necessarily have to mean luxury. So you're not having to go out and spend eight grand on a Rolex to get an awesome watch. This Trasca, for 400 bucks, I mean, you're getting a top quality watch. This thing is so, so well built. I've been extremely impressed with it. Uh, but yeah, I did have the opportunity to talk to John. And one of the things that really stuck out with John was, you know, he was in college and he's a watch guy. And, you know, the more he and more he studied watches, he realized, you know, in the watch world, people traditionally think of Swiss made as, ooh, the, you know, the best thing since sliced bread. But what John began to notice, and he actually went to a, um, and there's a link on the website that talks about this experience, but he actually went to a conference in Hong Kong, China, on how to create Swiss made watches. And that kind of opened his eyes up that the majority of Swiss made watches and parts are actually built in China. Um, and so John doesn't try to hide the fact that this is built in China. John actually moved to China for a year and a half to set up shop over there, start building relationships so that he could build a top quality watch. So he went through several prototypes. He spent a ton of money trying to create what you see here in my hands. Um, this was about a year and a half creating the current current watch here. And so, you know, just a beautiful watch. He actually launched this on Kickstarter last April. If you're familiar with Kickstarter, that's where you launch a product and people fund it. And that typically takes several weeks, if not months, to get something funded. John actually had this funded in four and a half hours. And so I believe he actually doubled what he needed within like eight to 12 hours. So um, amazing, amazing job getting this thing going. Um, John himself, I mean, he is a hard, hard worker. Uh, just, I picked that up very quickly from just talking to him for about 30 minutes. Um, another beautiful thing about this watch, it does have a three year transferable warranty. And so he's gonna warrant this watch for three years and then, hey, say you decide to, to sell it to a buddy or something. You know, maybe you're one of those guys that likes to buy and sell watches a ton. Well, the next owner is going to actually get the, the time that's left on that warranty, which is really unheard of in the watch world. And so let me go ahead and throw this on my wrist here real quick. We'll finish this up. This watch fits perfectly. I wear a dress shirt to work almost every day. This thing looks great on my seven and a half inch wrist. Again, you got that nice, beautiful Trasca logo. You can notice zero scratches on it. It's got that awesome anti-reflective coating. You can see that minute hand going around. Just an overall beautiful, beautiful watch. All right, guys, well, that's gonna finish it for our tabletop review. Let's go ahead and wrap things up here in just a minute. Hey guys, we just got done with the tabletop review. Again, just want to wrap this all up. If you're looking for a really high quality watch and don't want to spend a ton, I would absolutely recommend you check out Trasca watches. 
You can find them at traskawatch.com. Again, just an overall excellent value for what you pay for this. So guys, as always, thanks so much for watching these videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can click on my face here below to subscribe. Thank you again. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Take care.